Hi, my name is Joe Moorfeld. I'm the director of brewing here at Pinehouse Pizza. I came from a brewery in Colorado called Odell Brewing Company and uh, I moved to Austin to help start Pinehouse Pizza. We've been around for three years now and um, we're kicking ass, taking names. We do what's commonly known as new wave American craft fusion, but we do a lot of styles. We do some uh, ambers, we do even a few lagers here and there. What we're mainly known for is definitely our hoppy beers and our stouts. We got a really strong brewing team. We got Trevor Kelly, the Tasty Beer Killer, Huggy Bear. He goes by a lot of names. He's our head brewer at the North location. My nickname is Huggy Bear. You give everybody a hug, apparently, when you've had a couple beers or more than one hug, and apparently that's not okay with everybody. Yeah. So you become the guy who hugs everybody. I've been in, in the craft beer for several years and spent several years home brewing at home, experimenting and just making beer. And befriended Joe and Jacob down here a few years ago just kept bugging them and bringing them beer and uh, trying to figure out how to make my beer better and just eventually I somehow tricked them into letting them hire me. <laughs> I like to think my brewing style is complex and well balanced or I'm trying to make hoppy beers that have layers of flavor. I think he's a very talented hard worker. He's got some amazing hair, rides a amazing ruckus. On his team he's got uh, Joel, I don't know his last name. Um, he goes by, uh, well, I call him Roly Jolie. I don't think he likes that that much, but it kind of makes sense. He's super laid back, and I think it complements my kind of energetic, frantic style of working. I guess one of my other hobbies are uh, back alley dice games. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, usually it's shooting dice, so uh, Roly Jolie. I've been brewing for seven years. I like the. Uh, Hoppy stuff, there are a lot of hop additions. It keeps me on my toes, keeps me focused on the brew. Down south, uh, can't speak, well, I can speak pretty highly about that team too. Uh, we have Jacob Passy as the head brewer down there. He's been with me since uh, nearly day one. He makes some really solid beers. He's developed some great recipes for us. One of those guys that really trust with our, with our beers. Uh, I'd say one word, Jacob, leisure. He's, uh, he's noble. <laughs> he's a good leader. If he wasn't talking shit, I don't know what he's doing with his mouth. <laughs> Most commonly, I'm the leisure wolf for Uncle Jake. I'm lucky enough to have my own brew house and my own brewing team down here at uh, the South Mar location. My brewing style is, I describe it as shoot from the hip. Really, what it comes down to is hoppy beers all the time. IPAs, hoppy pails, session IPAs, anything in, in the realm. And his team, we got uh, Daniel, the Texas Dumpster Snake, Conley. He's the Dumpster Snake. The Dumpster Snake. I don't, I don't want to put it out there, but I mean, he's, he's the Dumpster Snake. And one time at the North location, I found a dead snake. So I went and grabbed the snake and tossed it in the dumpster. So now these guys think it's funny to call me the Texas Dumpster Snake, <laughs> which I hate, by the way. <laughs> Mostly got my start uh, home brewing, then uh, took on a role at the original Pine House location, uh, kind of assistant brewery, doing all the cellar work. Chad and Jacob and Joe helping them out. Eventually came into the role of brewer. We got Raphael, who we, we brought on recently, comes with a lot of experience. I think he's gonna be great for us to help expand our Belgian program. Something he's really into is yeast forward beers, so 
we're hoping to you know really utilize some of his skill set there and I think he's going to bring a lot to add breadth to our portfolio. One word to describe him is insane. He's all over the place. He's crazy. He's a little firecracker. Uh, Roth is the ferret. It's just this little ball of just like energy. Yeah, yeah. People just kind of started calling me the ferret during the buildup because uh, <laughs> I am the shortest person in the team and was therefore required to get into tight spots. First got into brewing after I finished up design school in Spain, came back to the States. Got a job at uh, Fatheads in Middleburg Heights, and then moved down to a smaller brew pub, JFB in Worcester, and uh, now I'm out here. I would say my favorite styles to brew are probably more yeast-driven, uh, Belgian beers. I'm really excited to get this open top fermenter going, kind of flex our muscles on some, uh, some more difficult yeast to work with. Having a temperature-controlled room is, is pretty fun. And then uh, Kirkland Wheeler, who is our most recent addition, he's been with Pine Isles for a long time on the bar side. and. He's probably the hardest worker I've ever seen. That guy will do just about anything. Kirkland is easy, Workland. He's at work all the time, and he is here from the beginning to the end of every day just busting his ass. Uh, the, I first got the, the name Workland whenever everyone went on a brewery tour and I was left behind working. And then they, they got drunk and someone shouted out Workland. And that stuck, and then I started in the brew house and it appears to be the same name. <laughs> so, I just kind of stumbled into an Alamo Draft House a long time ago and started working with beer. They had 35 taps. I never stopped bartending with beer all the way to Pint House and then <laughs> met the right people. Yeah. Joe, he, uh, he lives the macro life. Joe? I don't know. I haven't seen Joe in a while. He's a man of mystery. You know? and it's kind of hard to figure him out, you know? Still working on that one. Still trying to crack that nut. Yeah. Joe's standing off camera right now, yeah. so I'm going to say he's, he's excellent. <clears throat> Uh, Joe's the man, the myth, the legend, living lake life on the jet skis. I don't really brew anymore, so... <laughs> we got some really exciting beers coming up this year. Um, we're going to be releasing our Big Labaro Ski out of the north location again, as well as our Jaguar Shark. Um, with our barrel aging program, we're going to focus on all clean barrel aged beers at the north location, so we're going to be using more virgin oak and just spirit barrels. So our, our bigger stouts will be coming out of here. And then down south, we procured a number of wine barrels. So we're going to start a sour and wild program down there. And uh, we're excited to have two really strong groups of brewers.